evidence is right in front of us. She didn't marry her brother romantically. She did so to defraud the United States of America. It's all laid out in the report. But we wanted to give Congresswoman Omar a chance to clear this all up. We wanted to give her a chance to go on record and tell the American people in a sworn statement, a sworn affidavit under penalty of perjury that she never married her brother or any other of her siblings because who knows what else she did with other family members. We went to her home. We found that the home listed on all of her campaign documents was abandoned. Not one piece of furniture inside, absolutely, completely vacant. She doesn't live there. We then went to her district office. Which we called ahead of time before visiting. The phone number at her district office was disconnected. By the way, we called her DC office and they told us she was in town working out of the district office. The district office had an L bracket on the door and it was screwed shut. The district office is non-existent. Ilhan Omar doesn't have a district office and by all indications, she doesn't live in Minneapolis. So this is a pattern of fraud and lies and deceit by Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. And what we're calling for today is as Ilhan Omar just last Saturday spoke to a man who called for genociding Jews, spoke right alongside him at a group called Islamic Relief, and then on Monday received a classified briefing, we are calling for her to today step down from the House Foreign Affairs Committee and by the end of the week step down from Congress altogether. We cannot have someone in Congress who conspired and indeed did defraud the United States. And that's exactly what she did. I want to open it up for questions in a second, but any closing I would remarks? Encourage this, I would say all of you, we will count on you know, our press are always partners in these things, and we would ask all of you, please bring this to the attention of the speaker and the leader, and they should have no choice but to commence an expulsion very quickly. But all right, so let's, let's open the phone. The, the reason why I'm wearing this hat today is because both Jacob Wall and I have been permanently banned from Twitter after posting our investigative findings about Ilhan Omar. I was permanently banned on November 21st after I said that Ilhan Omar was pro-Sharia and anti-Jewish, two things that are now completely true, right? She's speaking, like Jacob said, for Islamic Relief. She's going to be speaking to CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations, which is a designated Islamic terrorist organization. So I am demanding, I am demanding that Jack Dorsey immediately reinstate the Twitter accounts of both myself and Jacob Wall uh, because we posted factual information about Ilhan Omar and we have been targeted as Jewish conservatives, Jewish Trump supporters, Jewish investigators and journalists who are reporting on this corrupt, anti-American, pro-Islamic terror, fraudulent individual known as Ilhan Omar who needs to immediately resign from Congress. All right, I want to open up for questions from the, from the press and the public. The public's free to ask questions as well. All right. Questions from the public or the press? It's for release. And we're and we're it's for release. This is hereby this is hereby released. You can post it. And and by the way, we're answering questions about the report. It's it's going well. Yeah. Have either of you talked to the FBI or other law enforcement about the Mueller press conference? You know, we're finished with that. No, we haven't talked to anybody. <laughs> well, why should anybody believe you when you uh, told lies about Mr. Mueller? You guys should be throwing yourselves at the mercy of his investigation. No, no. I told USA Today that I'm going to stop whoever the Democratic nominee is at all costs using social media, and I stand by that. You were banned for artificially inflating your Twitter following and, co and commanding else? a Any botnet. And does anybody else need the report before we, we go? We really like it. We would really appreciate some questions on the substance of this. Yeah. Will Sommer from the Daily Beast writing here pieces about both Jacob and myself. Do you have anything Anyone? to say about the anti-Jewish congresswoman who married her brother? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I think people are missing the point here that this is a woman who is on a committee in Congress, and she's siding with terrorists, okay? She has relations with pro-Islamic terrorists, and I think what Jacob is doing, you know, he's just and trying right to call here, attention right to here, the situation. Apparently the people agree with us, because right here, we have a petition with 200,000 signatures from Americans that said it's time for Ilhan Omar to step down from the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Will you be delivering We will be. We have plans to deliver these to Congress. We will also be informed very shortly today about all of our DHS. DHS has been made aware of our findings. Dan, question? Do you plan on delivering this information, all the facts and evidence, to the DOJ? 
That's right. We, we are working on that. It has been reported to the Department of Homeland Security. Yeah, I am in touch with Department of Homeland Security, and I have requested the immigration records of Elmi, and uh, they were a bit resistant at first. I can uh, you know, publish those documents later so you all can see that there is an active right attempt to cover next. up this information. Can you share a little bit more about the existing uh, district, the Watermark district, and do you get any sense of whether she's like, popular or what? Oh, yeah. Uh, what this gentleman back here asked about is our visit to the district, whether she's popular, what people think about her there. And I will tell you this, we went into the Somali community that she represents, and most people were very, very nice to us. We ate at Somali restaurants, people offered to help us out, people offered to show us the way, and they were very, very helpful. The lion's share of these folks. And they are gravely concerned that they have a congresswoman who by all indications married her brother, and by the way, I will tell you this, Every single Somali person that I spoke to there confirmed yeah. that these rumors are true according to people they talked to in the community. Now this isn't by any means talking to people anecdotally, it's not smoking gun evidence, but we've got the smoking gun evidence right here in the form of public records, in the form of lies and deceit on her part, and in the form of time after time after time, she's married to this man, but she lives with her ex-husband who she has children with, and they share the same siblings, and they share the same father. I think that's the most damning piece of evidence. Yeah, what's right, the Jacob, you, you've done several of these investigations before. You've attracted a lot of publicity, but they haven't put this out. Well, I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. We, Jack Berkman and I, just Jack Berkman and I just recently investigated Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax in Virginia.